Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die makeup tag video. I was tagged by my YouTube sis TiffJack069. So I found it to be a really fun tag and I wanted to participate. So I'm gonna jump right into it. My Ride or Die Take to a Desert Island uh, face primer would be the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and that's in that purple and white packaging that I'm always talking about. So that would have to be with me. Like, I really freaking love that stuff. And for foundation, it would be the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And this is in the color Chestnut because, honestly, it has been tried and tested and it's proven itself. So I definitely would want that with me. Um, for face powder, it would be the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the color Cocoa because I feel like it keeps me matte. It's also good as just like an um, all-over face powder. And it looks like that. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen this one. But yeah, I would definitely... Die. That's my um, what else? So for... I don't know if contour palette was a part of it. I really don't think so. So I'm not even... I don't think so. But my ride or die would be the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium to Dark. Because honestly, I love that contour and shade. And... It's versatile, so you can use it as an eyeshadow or contouring or, you know, it's used for whatever the heck you want to. <laughs> um, for bronzer, it would have to be the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. And that's because I really don't have many bronzers. Like, so many of the bronzers that I have, they say they're bronzers, but they're more like highlighters for me because they just have way too much shimmer in them. And I was afraid because that one has, like, little gold... Um, shimmer in it but it's not as bad it's really not you barely can even see it okay for blush it would be the black radiance artisan color baked blush and this one is in toasted almond it is fairly new to me but i really really love the color payoff from it it's just like this natural flush of color for a woman of color and this would be my ride or die blush okay so for mascara my ride or die mascara would have to be the Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara. And that's because the wand on this brush, I mean on this brush, the wand on this, in this mascara is just like so freaking perfect. And it really grabs your lashes. It really makes your, your eyelashes pop a lot. I love this mascara. And this is a new one. Um, for concealer, my ride or die concealer would have to be the Maybelline Fit Me in the Color Cafe. I love this stuff. And yeah, it's easily accessible and all that good stuff like that. Um, for eyeshadow palettes, I really had a hard time. So don't kill me. But I couldn't decide between these two. The Holy Grail, the Violet Voice Holy Grail palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Now, yes, the colors look similar to each other. But the actual payoff and things like that is not the same. And I just really couldn't decide between the two. Like, I love them both both so much. So, I couldn't choose one. I really can't. I still can't. I've been trying to, but it's hard. Lashes. My Rider's Eye lashes would be the Kiss Lashes. I really like these. And being that these were, like, basically the, um, like, my first experience with false lashes. And, uh... The band is thin. I had a really good experience with them. Honestly, like, I don't have any issues with using these. And they're reusable, and I like them a lot. So, yeah, it would be the Kiss False Lashes. And moving along, for highlighter, it will be the Wet n' Wild Fergie Highlighter. This is Hollywood Boulevard. Now, what I have seen that they're, like, doing some type of um, revamping of these highlighters, the Fergie one. So instead of them saying Fergie on them and having this particular name, they have a different name. They don't have Fergie, but they are the same exact color. So yeah, Hollywood Boulevard. So you can still get your hands on this. This is such a pretty highlighter. Like I have it on Tuesday, today. <laughs> but look at that. It is really a pretty highlighter. Liquid lipstick. Sorry about that. Um, it would be the ColourPop. I'm trying to find one of the matte ones I have. But yeah, you know, it would basically be the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the color Scrooge. And I have a ton of them. Like, I have some of the Ultra Mattes. I have some of the Glossies and the Satins in here. And I definitely would have to say it's the ColourPop. Um, for lip gloss, it would be the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. Because it feels like a freaking pillow is on your lips. 
I love this stuff. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just right. And I really, 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 really love this stuff. For lipstick, it will be MAC. And it's this one from the Vibe Tribe collection. And it's in the color Hot Chocolate. I actually bought a backup to this because I really adore this color. Like, you can wear this alone. It just looks really perfect on women of color. It's a beautiful color. And for my Ride or Die setting spray, it would definitely have to be the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Um, I don't have too many setting sprays, but out of the few that I do have, this would take the cake for me. I don't know. I really like it. When you spray this on, and you know how sometimes it gets like a little on your neck, you can feel the stick the tackiness of this product so in my opinion that's like letting me know that it's holding that in place that tackiness i don't know hopefully that makes sense but that's just perfume is the ralph lauren in the blue bottle that is really my favorite and that's the only one that i would actually really go out there and spend the money and go and get it but i don't have it because i used it up when i received it as a gift um last year so in replace of that, I love body sprays, and this is the Bath and Body Works in Be Joyful, and it just smells so good. Mm, it smells like a nice, subtle, sweet, real subtle, not too sweet, and look, I'm almost done with it because I really like this stuff. So I believe that completes the Ride or Die tag. So let me know in the comment sections if you like this video and let me know if you are going to join in on the tag. I tag anyone who is watching this video to go ahead and do the Ride or Die makeup tag because it is really fun and I love doing tags. And let me know if you do the tag so I can go ahead and watch your video. Thank you for watching. Bye.